What's good YouTube, Justle Farm here. Welcome to the next part of the Justle Farm Coffee Lake PC Build 2018. And in this part, we're going to be showing you guys how to install the Samsung N960 EVO M.2, the 250GB into the ROG Maximus X Hero with Wi-Fi AC gaming motherboard. And it's going to, we're going to show you exactly how to install it and if we're going to be adding any thermal paste or any thermal compound or not. There's some websites that say you can or cannot. And we'll show you the way how we add it onto this motherboard, guys. Check it out. Alright, guys. To install your Samsung NVMe SSD, your M.2 pretty much, you guys want to make sure you guys have your motherboard out and you guys are connected to an electrostatic bracelet. And get your Phillips head that corresponds with your motherboard screws that would be on your heat sink. As you guys can see, mine, I have two screws right there and those are the sizes. So pretty much to remove it, you guys would just unscrew that and then put the SSD under there. So let's start off with unscrewing it. So I'm doing this with my left hand. Just bear with me. I'm just going to loosen a little bit here and a little bit here. Alright, we got both screws out now, guys. And so now you guys want to just lift that shield up. And we have... What would that be? Tape. A little thermal blanket? This is the thermal tape. The thermal blanket tape. And it says to remove, so I have to remove. A little bit lower. There you go. It says to remove it. Mm -hmm. So it's like a blue film, you remove that. Alright, so we're going to take the heat sink. The heat sink right there. Okay. And we're going to remove this blue film. And we're going to set it on the table before putting the M.2 in there. So we're just prepping it. Perfect. So to prep that, he's just prepping that right now. I'm just going to pull it. And let me just show you guys a close up of how it looks. The motherboard. So as you guys can see, those are the two screw holes. There, that little tower right there that one right there and well, it's kind of hard to focus on that one that silver tower right there those are the towers where the screw holes came out of yeah so I'll show you the screws came out of this one and this one one and two those are the two towers I was talking about and this is a tape with the blue removed yep so I'm trying to keep my hands steady it's mm -hmm. hard. and okay I'm just gonna set it we just set it aside on the table. So I'm going to put the NVMe in there and the heat sink is going to press down on top. Perfect. And so to install the NVMe SSD, you would pretty much just line it up in oh. here on a 45 degree angle. Okay. And try to get the right angle and you got to Push it, sorry, you push it in a little bit. Okay, there you go. So it pushes in all the way snug, nice and snug. Yeah. And it's, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. So you would essentially press it down and screw it in. Okay. Like that, like so. And if you, but if, I can't screw it in until I put my heat If you guys can see right there, that's the screw he's talking about, it lines up with the screw hole. So I'm going to put the heat sink on. Do top. it up. And some people say that, oh, should you remove the factory label? Sticker. Mm -hmm. um, but the, this factory label already allows some heat transfer. Yeah. So it shouldn't make too much of a big deal. I'd rather have my sticker on. I don't want to remove it. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I'm keeping it. I'll put the heat sink on. Steady. And just tape it. lined up, lock it in there, and you want to tighten this side first because that's the side with the pressure that needs to be pushed NVMe. down. Yeah, and I got a better bit this time because the bit doesn't fit in the screw properly, it's a really flat screw. Yeah. 
so it doesn't have a deep well where the bit can fit into. So you just, you just line it up. So you gotta press it down a little bit to get it in there. And it's tightening. And at the same time, I'm gonna tighten the other side equally. I don't wanna over tighten one over side. Yeah. So just drop it. Sorry, my left hand. So I'm just gonna tighten both sides equally. Trying to get the best camera angles to show you guys. And it's very easy to slip on the screw. So if you're applying careful on the pressure, you don't want to apply too much pressure and scratch the paint or anything. So if it slips, you can allow it to slip a little bit. So as you're just evenly tightening that up, yeah, you just tighten it until it'll stop, and then no extra pressure. Okay. So yeah, it goes in there. Okay. Perfect. So now we pretty much installed the NVMe SSD, guys. So that was easy as that. It wasn't too hard. The main process was he had to remove the two screws, as shown. If you want to point the two screws again, how you did the process. So Let's go over, over the process real quickly again. So you got to move the, this screw and this screw. Yep. Uh, that depends if your motherboard has a heat sink. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just insert the NVMe on the 45 degree angle. But for this motherboard, the ROG Maximus X Hero with the Wi-Fi AC, the, these are the steps you would be doing. Exactly. If you had bought this a Samsung SSD Evo M.2 as well. True. So exactly like he said, the steps he went through are... Remove, yeah, so you remove this screw and this screw and you take the heat sink off. Mm -hmm. Behind the heat sink, you'll find a label uh, that you got to remove. It's a heat transfer tape. Yep. And that allows uh, better cooling for the heat from the heat sink to the M.2. Mm -hmm. Some people like to prefer to cover it up to send heat towards the motherboard, but I don't see what's the point of doing that. And so from there, he just installed the SSD, um, the M.2, at a 45 degree angle, and you guys saw how it clicked in. And then he pushed it down after having the heat sink peeled which stuck sticks to the M.2 that heat little blanket style tape and then he just screwed the opposite end down that side if you want to show them oh, I'm sorry so yeah I screwed in this side and this side that side and he slowly evenly tightened it in and if you guys haven't seen the past video where we installed the processor that's sitting right there guys if you want to point at that real quickly right. we got the Intel i7 8700k sitting right there and so yeah guys don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out the next step in the video and which I believe would be installing the motherboard to the case. Correct, yeah. And once we install the motherboard to the case, then we can finally install our RGB RAM, our 1050 Ti graphic card, I believe. It is a, yeah, it's a GTX 1050 Ti and it's a stri uh, sticks or Strikes model. Republic of Gamers as well. Republic of Gamer graphic card as well, guys. I'm so excited to get this PC built and get the farm running on some serious technology, guys. Take care.